Six step model, that was the other thing. I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time on this tonight. In fact, there's an entire day spent on this. But when you're thinking about these internal psychological structures, I just want you to know that there's some very deep tools that when we look at discovering the deepest truth and patterns and software that's creating these leader models, and, and when we step up and when we don't and when we stumble and, and what causes us to be afraid and, and what limitations do we, we impose upon ourselves. There is a great series of questions that we can ask about. Is it a story? Are these a cause and effect? Is there other software running? Again, for a first time person on this call, you won't know a lot of these. Some of you on this call, you've been with me a long time, you know uh, virtually all of these terms, but as a leadership model, you know, ultimately this notion that people are mysterious and people are intangible and, and I don't know why people do what they do. And as a leader, that's why I can't guarantee performance and behaviors is absolutely not true. People are very tangible. People are very easy to explain. And in the 10, when this is a crisis, it's even more easy to explain because they fall back to even more predictable behavior patterns. It's when they're, you know, off doing the mundane is when they become actually a little bit more unpredictable, right? They don't become unpredictable when there's a crisis. They bat in hatches. They get back into harbor. They get safe. They don't get unpredictable. But... To know the truth and then to figure out, okay, now that I know the inflection point, I know the pivot point, that I've got to budge and move their psychology, there are tools that talk about how we seize leverage. We have to destroy the old pattern. Now, technically, you can't really destroy anything in the mind. Once it's in here, it can be 30 years ago, it's locked in a chemical electrical pattern and that little three pound hard drive, little fat, water, microamperes, electric. But we want the pattern to be so broken and so, you know, not real that I have to color within the lines. I have to do what the teacher says in order to get an A on this project. We're, we need to blow that pattern up. That's not what great leaders do. They discover lines that don't exist. They hand people crayons and colors that have never been mixed and matched before. And they empower the people on their team to do that themselves. So to know how to not let that old pattern, the old question, but, but what if I can't? But what if I don't? But what if this fails? Those are not the questions you want them to ask it. You want them to say, but what if it succeeds? And how can I do that? And, and if it doesn't succeed, but then I got to find a way for it to succeed because I own everything here, blah, 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 blah. This is going to be covered more in the third webinar. But again, we spend an entire day on this model. You now install the new pattern and part of the little tiny tool that we did tonight, for example, is building a new identity statement. And I'm not going to install that tonight. I'm going to do that first thing because your homework is I want you to send me your new powerful wrote. Send me what you wrote in old and you'll get this in an email. Send what you wrote as old and then I want to see what did you keep? What did you like? What did you change? And we'll, we'll take a look at that. I'll help that. And then we'll I'll give you the tool for how to install that. Then you condition and test the pattern. Okay, you're, you're awesome. You're totally set to shoot for the stars, right? Well, now your boss comes in and says, okay, there's layoffs coming. Well, now what do you do? What does it look and feel like? Because that's real. Sometimes your karma is that you can shoot for the stars and for the next three years, you're just a rocket ship. But there's going to come that storm. And if you have bad luck, sometimes you walk out of this webinar all excited to shoot for the stars tomorrow. And the first thing you hear when you go to work tomorrow is, oh, there's going to be layoffs. I need you to give me 20 people off your team. Well, it's kind of hard to shoot for the stars, Bill. I get that. 
Again, this is a psychology that we're building. So we condition and test the future to see where the software for you will break. And then we put a great celebration in. And that really is where leadership begins to rock.